Spring Lake Park Panthers. They are a rushing offense from way back when, trying for their fourth straight victory. Second quarter after a scoreless first, traveling to Hopkins, Aaron Clawson from two yards out takes it in. 7 nothing Panthers at the half. So it's low scoring. Then the Panthers get to work. Look at this. Caleb Skelly going way high with the one-hander from Clawson. Oh my goodness, Skelly the hero goes way up. That deserves the star wipe and the extra look. Still in the third quarter, back to the ground for Clawson. He'll bust it out wide and then cut right back in. That's a beautiful cutback around a block as it's 21-0 Panthers. We stay in the third quarter, swarming Panther defense. They've given up six points, Flies, just six points in the last four weeks, and they didn't give up any in this one, spoiler alert. So the offense gets it back, and what would a Spring Lake Park highlight be in 2020 without getting a little licky with it? He flings it down, that's Skelly again. I guess that reference may be more appropriate for 1999, but Skelly has the touchdown, 28 yards from Nate Litke. He don't care. Hopkins trying to get on the board late, and there's that defense again. Again, six points over the last four weeks now given up by Spring Lake Park. They're outscoring their opponents by a total of, if I could find it on my notes, it's here somewhere, 139 to six. That's what they're wow. outscoring their opponents over the last four weeks as they win four straight. Aaron Clawson, 77 through the air, and a touchdown, a couple of rushing touchdowns. Nate Litke, he just continues to do it. LaDainian Tomlinson impression. He used to score in all sorts of ways for the Chargers back in the day, and that's what Nate Litke is doing for the Panthers. So, a couple teams riding high. Cougars is gonna try and find their way to a closing victory, and that's reflected here in the standings with Blaine, three and one. They're with Maple Grove in the conference in the Metro North, best two records both overall and in the conference and uh, Centennial one and three in Spring Lake Park outpacing everybody in the suburban blue. The only loss was that tight narrow victory to Becker that we had in week one since then. Four straight victories as we got this coming up. Yeah, Blaine gets to take on Anoka here on the 11th. Centennial heading to Osseo in Spring Lake Park. Going to take on Orno, my alma mater. So uh -huh. that'll be fine. But of course, our team's on the road again. <laughs> yeah, second straight week also that the Cougars are going to have to find a new opponent on the road. They had to do that with St. Michael Albertville. Now they've had to do what they were supposed to, uh, or Spring Lake Park, rather, who goes to Orno in two weeks. That was uh, that, uh, or this week, that uh, had to find that after North St. Paul canceled. So team's hopping around. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's interesting here at the end of the season.